during your time as president of Iran, you were known to be very fiery in your rhetoric. You didn't hold back. That's a description that some would make of former U.S. President Donald Trump. Do you believe that the world is safer now that Joe Biden is president? If you were an Iranian and Mr. Bush threatened you with military attacks daily, what would you do? At the same time, I requested that a direct flight take place between New York and Tehran so that the people of the two countries could connect with one another. I also requested an audience with Mr. Obama at the UN General Assembly. And also, we reached an agreement on the nuclear issue, but the conservatives in Iran and in the US didn't allow for any progress to be made. But they said no, sir, because you were being untransparent in your nuclear program. That's why they said no. The responsibility of this lies on the IAEA, the UN, the nuclear watchdog. At the time, we had an agreement with Mr. Obama, but the hardliners on both sides didn't allow things to come to a conclusion. And Iranian militias were killing American soldiers in Iraq. That's why they said no. I don't think you are in a position to provide reasons for the way the U.S. governments behaved. However, U.S. soldiers were present around Iran borders and there were problems, and these problems need to be fixed from the root. Today we are speaking so that those problems don't repeat. Do you believe the world is safer without Donald Trump in the White House? That is, I believe, a domestic U.S. issue and should be judged by its own people. But we are waiting to see around the world if U.S. policies will actually change in practice. We are hoping that this change does occur.